What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Draco's Journey to Master Ball. We're using teams or teams that I've created to reach the Master Ball tier. As always, I'm Draco, and today is the 30th. That's right, it is the end of the month. Um, don't think we're going to reach the Master Ball tier for the second time this month. We did get there a few, few videos back, but I don't think we're going to do it again. Um, seeing how we're just kind of in the Great Ball 8 tier, we have to get through Great Ball 9 and Ultra Ball 10 in order to get there. So I don't think we're going to be doing it in uh, this video. Um, it depends. We'll see um, how good the battles go, maybe. But if it does happen, it happens. If not, we will restart next month with our new month, new beginning start. So we started the beginner tier. Um... For Friday, for Friday's video, will be in the beginner tier. So the team we are going to use today is the same team that we used yesterday. It is the Shadow Rider, Soul Galio, Weakness Policy Team with Tapu Koko, Gyarados, um, Gastrodon, and Gothitelle. So pretty cool team. It's this team you see on the uh, screen. Um, so if you guys are excited to see some more Soul Galio, Gothitelle, Gyarados, Shadow Rider action, you know what to do? Hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, we are on our journey to 75 subscribers. Uh, help me build the DK Trading YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you in the battles. Alrighty. Alrighty. We got a battle. Um, they got a pretty good team here. Got some screens. Um, I got a... Uh, what, what is it? Cinderace? Yelveta? Okay. So, I don't know. Um, obviously, Cinderace is a huge problem for our Soul Galio. And so is the Yelveta. So, I think we're going to go. Um, Gothitelle, Tapu Koko, Calyrex, and Solgaleo. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's we'll see what we can do here with this setup. I don't know. Let's see what happens. The leads are... Rillaboom and Thunderous. Tapu Koko. Ah, they're slower. That's unfortunate. Okay. So. That doesn't mean, like... Hmm. We could fake out. And we could max here. Max airstream. The Rillaboom spot. Hmm. Yeah, let's max Airstream, the Rillaboom. Max the Tapu Coco. Let's do it. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, big bad max Tapu Coco. That's a scary Pokemon. Alright. Dude, they're maxing the Thunders. They gotta be. Right? And I faked it out too, so. Yeah. Oh well. That's fine. We're still gonna go first, so that means our speed will be maintained. 
Max Airstream. Let's see what this does. It was like 150, right? Rillaboom hangs on, so we should have psychicked, psychicked the Rillaboom too. That would have been a good play. But not a big deal. Max Darkness. Oh, shit. Gapitel hangs on. Max Darkness. That's. Our special attack lowers, right? Yeah. But uh, our special defense falls, but that's okay because the light herb fixes that. EQ. Doesn't affect. They have. You have grassy terrain up. That literally halves the attack there. Okay. Um. I kind of want to switch Gothitelle in. I kind of do. Maybe I don't. I think I'm actually going to Psychic Oh my god I just had to max airstream I was running out of time I should have went for a KO Grassy Glide Yeah, that's fine <clears throat> We get a free switch in here I, I kind of ran out of time there So, critical hit too. That's in like an insult. Alright. Max and knock. Tapu takes that. Okay. Um. I think I'm going to. Because they showed Max Darkness. I'm going to bring in Soul Galio. And I'm going to protect it. And Max Airstream the Rillaboom. Thinking that they're going to proc my weakness policy with their Max Darkness. Well, who's in the back? Who's in the back? Stations in the back. Yeah. Yep. So soul protects. Grassy glide into Coco. Holy damage. Rillaboom goes down. We still got the speed boost on Soul Galio, so that's good. Max Lightning. They went for a Max Lightning. And they changed their terrain to the Lightning terrain. Boy, this could be cool. Because <laughs> now we have Wild Charge, which is going to take us out. If we hit it, but like, yeah, I don't know. Yo, better. Okay. So, I'm going to say. Rock slide. Because they have Sucker Punch, huh? They could have Sucker Punch. I'm going to scout for Sucker Punch. Rock slide, Sucker Punch. Let's protect here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Told you. <laughs> told you. Rock slide. Big damage in the Thunderous.
Okay. Thunderous goes down. All right, so... Let's see. Grimmsnarl. Whoa. Huh. I mean, we'll go for the wild charge in case they don't. Sucker punch. Yeah, sucker punch. Give me Yelveta. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. Thunder Wave. Void the attack. Okay. Sun Steel Strike into Grim Snarl. Whoa! Whoa! Hmm. Okay. So let's. Let's rock slide. Do you think the bulldoze takes it out? It's so dangerous to do. But it procs our weakness policy. Let's rock slide. And will o wisp the Yelveta. Thunder Wave, okay, that's fine. It's not fine, but whatever. Rock Slide. Grimmsnarl goes down. Flinched and couldn't move. Paralyzed and couldn't move. <laughs> okay. That's an end game for you. Rock Slide and... And will o -Wisp begin. I don't want to give him a Sucker Punch opportunity. Okay. That's unfortunate. We just lost this game. Okay, will o -Wisp? Hold on a second. I don't think we lose. I don't think we lose here because of Focus Sash. I don't think we lose. Okay, and then we just Astro here, and they're going to Sucker Punch, it's going to bring us down to Focus Sash, the Life Orb should take it out with the burn. We should win, oh, the Oblivion Wing. Yo, great play to Oblivion Wing. Astro. Okay, burn takes it out. Burn takes it out. The burn was clutch. GG's. That play at the end, that play to get the health back at the end was a great play. It really was. Because um, we would have went down to Sucker Punch at the end. But yeah, GG's to my opponent. Uh, that was a really good battle. Um, we're going to jump into another one. One second. Alright. They got a Palkia. They got a Trick Room team. Alright. This looks like another YT. Uh, YT means YouTube, so another YouTube channel. Interesting. Okay. So. We could leave like Kellyrex Soul Galio. Gastrodon in the back. So easy for them to set up Trick Room. Um, and let's see, who just left?
I mean, it could be Gyarados for Intimidate, Thunder Wave. Let's do it. I wasn't going to continue with this. Um, getting the Master Ball. I just recorded the episode earlier and then I was like done with it, but it just wasn't sitting right. Porygon 2 and Incineroar. So, they just trace our full metal body. You can bulldoze here if you want. And max steel spike. They're gonna get Trick Room up, I think. Let's try it. If we knock out the P2, we'll be in decent shape, but I don't think we do. Have to be a really good crit. All right, let's see what happens here. I guess we could have taunted with the, uh, I didn't even think but then they would have faked this out. They go for fake out on the Soul Galio. That's weird. Okay. There's a gnat. Got it. Got the gnat. Bulldozer comes through. Steel spike. Okay. So they're going to get Trick Room up. There's Trick Room. So we're not in prison. That'd be great if we were in prison. Alright. Um, let's switch into Gastrodon right here and save Calyrex for some late game. And... We will max Quake the Insin spot. They can recover with P2 if they want to. Full Metal Body. It doesn't work. Eerie Impulse. It doesn't work. Full Metal Body. They're trying to lower my stats hard. They went hard into my stats. It doesn't work with Full Metal Body. Love it. And the parting shot didn't work, just so you guys know. He tried a parting shot, and the, the full metal body stopped the parting shot. Good stuff. Special defense rises. They do get a free switch into their... It's almost one of those times where maybe you didn't want a free switch in. But they tried to get a free switch in. They tried to get a free switch in. Or they get a free switch in. Palkia comes in. Okay. So we can yawn the Palkia and Max Quake the P2. And that, if this knocks out the P2, it would put us up uh, to Pokemon. So. I wonder if this guy is a YouTuber. I'll just look it up when I'm done. Be pretty cool. Winner lose. Alright, big bad Palkia. Yawn comes through. They foul play. And they max flare. Ooh, we might we might live this max flare. Yes, let's go. We live the max flare. So we got them defense boost, that's why. 
Next Quake. Alright. So P2 goes down. You just gotta stay calm when you're in Trick Room. You know, don't make rash plays. Play to your, play, play your outs. We're handling Trick Room okay right now. But, this Calyrex Ice comes in. Start doing work. Calyrex comes in. Let me turn to Trick Room, is there? Alright. There is two turns of Trick Room. We can protect here. Protect. I went double protect. Because then that puts Palkia to sleep next turn. Alright, Glacier Lance does nothing. Max Wilmer. Alright. So, Gastrodon. I mean, that's fine. Okay. Hmm. Alright, so Palkia's asleep. Gastrodon hung on mad style. We can yawn you. And switch into Gallardos. Switch into Gallardos. Yeah. Alright, so the Intimidate is going to come through. Find out if like White Herb or anything like that. That's been popping up a lot lately. Yawn comes through. Alright. Glacier Lance. I don't think it takes out both, no? Gyarados hangs on. Okay, that was a crit on Gyarados. Wow. Okay. Dimensions return to normal. Protect. And, I mean, we got the Glacier, yeah, hmm. Looks like they're gonna get a boost no matter what. I'm gonna switch back into Soul Galio. Maybe I should have let the Gyarados faint. I may be overplaying here. Alright. Yeah, we probably go down to this. Oh, they trick room. Forgot they trick roomed. Okay, so that's okay. The, uh. I should have attacked. Earth power and Sun Steel Strike the Calyrex. Okay, it did some. Not a weakness policy. Are they Life Orb then? I don't know. They didn't get a chance to attack yet. Sun Steel Strike.
Wow. <laughs> Calyrex is like, nope. Nope. Alright. Lefties come through. We earth power that again. And we rock slide. Try for a flinch. Earth power comes through. Calyrex does go down. Palkia wakes up. Spacious rend. Into the slug. Alright. Rock slide. Well, there was no need to rock slide there. Um. So I'm going to yawn again. And, uh. I'm gonna rock slide again. I really want them to take battles canceled. GG's my opponent. That was good. We, you know, they got the trick room twice, and to win under trick room twice is really, really hard. Um, but that was a good battle. GG's my opponent for sure. I really do wonder if they're a YouTuber. I'll have to check that out. Um, but yeah, we'll get into another battle. We're we're trying for this master belt here tonight. Um, oh, excuse me. Ooh, I had tacos for dinner. They were delicious, but sometimes you taste them. Sorry about that. That was so gross. I'm so sorry. Anyways, let's get into another battle. We're gonna do it. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to make the final push to Master Bolt here tonight. I, I was I stopped playing earlier today because I was tilted, but we're gonna try again. That was a good battle. One second. <laughs> Yo, that's a Tauros, guys. And uh don't know what that ice thing is. Grim Snarl, Zacian, Rillaboom, and Zapdos. Okay. <laughs> Did I mention that that was a Tauros right there? That's crazy. All right. So we could let's try Calyrex, Solgaleo, and Gastrodon for sure. Gyarados, man, you just don't look good here because of those, that there, that there, Rillaboom and Zapdos. They do have a Grim Snarl. We could lead Gothitelle. Solgaleo. Bring Tapu Koko. Um, I think Tapu Koko has to come for the terrain. I know the Zapdos. Mm, I'm gonna bring it. Uh, I'm bringing Tapu Koko. I was gonna bring Gyarados for Intimidate, but uh, I should have because there's a lot of. But that it's that's Rillaboom. Uh, it's the Rillaboom in the back that just kind of sucks. And the, the, the Zapdos, they just destroy it. Alright. Tauros and Fro Frostless? I don't know. Solgaleo. And the Calyrex Ice Rider. That's not intimidate. That means that thing's anger point. It's gotta be anger point, right? Oh, if that thing's anger point and it beats me with anger point, psh, I'm down. That's TV. Or it's sheer force. Okay, so it's probably sheer force. Okay, bulldozer. And Max Steel Spike. This the Frost, the Foralas. Day Max. Who are they, Max? I hope it's Tauros. I really hope it's Max Tauros. I really hope it's Max Tauros. It is Max Tauros, guys. It's like you gotta put this in the episode now, just because it's Max Tauros. That is so cool. 
Let's see what this Tauros can do. If it's sheer force, I am interested. So Galio gets a max. If it's and it's faster than the Soul Galio right now, because it maxed first. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay. Alright. What are we doing here? Bulldoze goes off. Okay. Weakness policy. Take out the fur. Whatever it's called. The frost. The frosty thing. The frosty queen. We'll call it that. Because <laughs> it's a girl and it can only be a girl. Okay. Max Steel Spike should take it out. Raising our defenses. Okay. Max Tauros, guys. What are you going to do here, Max Tauros? I'm worried. <laughs> I'm in danger. <coughs> Max Darkness into the Calyrex. It brings us down to our Focus Sash, and it also lowers special defense. Not on Soul Galaga, though. Right? Yeah, because of our ability. So Galia's looks up. Alright. Let's see here. See, though, this is where the Intimidator would have came in great. I should have brought it. Should have brought it. Rillaboom. Okay. So... We could just protect here. And there, and we could switch in Tapu Koko. Um, let's protect. And... Max Steel Spike the Rillaboom again. We'll leave the Tauros alone for now. Oh, we shouldn't have protected. We should have switched. Ah, because he's going to Max Darkness us, and it's going to go right through the Protect. They fake out Soul Galio. What was that about? Ah, I misplayed on that uh, with the Rillaboom. But, I mean, Rillaboom goes down. I misplayed with the Calyrex because now this is... If they Max Darkness it, we go down through Protect because we have 1 HP. I forgot about the 1 HP. Yeah, so, I mean, whatever at this point. Kind of is unfortunate, but honestly, Calyrex couldn't really do anything against the Tauros um, because he had max, dark max darkness and all we have is Bulldoze. So it's not doing enough damage to uh, do anything. So we'll, leave, we'll bring in Gastrodon here. Because I want some more health on my Soul Galio. Zation. Okay. Again, the Intimidator would have been so clutch here. I'm going to Earth Power the Zacian and Max Quake the Zacian. We just, their Tauros, the only thing that Tauros has done is max darkness. So, Sacred Sword. Kind of figured we could live that. We have two defense boosts, so max Quake. Zacian dropped. Tauros, huh? I'm interested to see what Tauros can do, to be honest with you. Max Strike, lowering our speed down. Okay. I mean, hey, I'm with it. So Max Darkness, Max Strike. Okay. We still don't have our, our uh, Gastrodon speed lower at all, by the way. So... We are going to Okay. Um 
So they, if they're sheer force, they, their ability was off the whole time. Just so you guys know. So we can yawn here. It's risky to yawn. And protect. Yawn and protect. Okay. Body slam. Okay. Yawn. Toros group drowsy. Alright. So... Let's just double protect here. Or, I mean, let's, uh... Let's EP and... We'll rock slide for a flinch chance. Rock slide. Okay, well, he goes down next turn. Uh, EP may even flinched and couldn't move. Nice, we got the flinch. All right. Hey, Gastrodon picking up the KO. The critical hit, Gastrodon's like, yo, I got you, Draco. We're picking up the KO here for you with a crit. Here you go, pal. My like, thanks, buddy. You're the best, you pink little slug. All right, GG's to my opponent. Tauros, that new max darkness and max strike. Okay, so hyper beam, probably. Shadow ball, probably. Interesting. When I say interesting, meaning I might have to look into that. We'll see. All right, GG's to my opponent. All right, Deacon Universe, that is a wrap on this weakness policy. So, Galio and Calyrex team, and that is a wrap on the month. We did it once. We got to Great... Well, two Great Paul. <laughs> we did it once. We got to Master Volunteer. Um, we didn't do it twice. We tried. We, uh... We tried. I can't say that we really came close this second time around, because uh, we didn't even make it out of Great Paul 8. Um, I, I did extra matches today to try and, like, you know, I was going to try and feature, like... You know, the climb, hit the 9, hit the, you know, hit the 10, and then hit Master Ball. That was my plan to feature those three battles, but it didn't work out that way. But that's not a big deal. You know, we got to Master Ball once, and that's bad. You know, that's bad at the moment we got there. Um, we'll do it someday. We'll, we'll get there twice in a row or twice in a month. It's not a big deal. We'll, you know, we'll just keep going. That's the model here at DK Trading, the DK Trading YouTube channel. We just keep going. We... we we keep battling and we achieve our goals eventually. We did make it to Master Ball once in the month, so it's not like a month was a huge letdown. But that's going to wrap this episode up. I hope you guys enjoyed this month of the Draco's Journey to Master Ball content. I had a lot of fun with the teams. There were some really sweet teams um, out there. This one in particular, um, this team was cool. The Top of Coco was cool. Um, Gyarados, unfortunately, Gyarados, Regilecki exists, Rillaboom exists, and. Venusaur exists, and Zapdos exists, so Arados has a tough time, but, you know, Thunder Waves can come in clutch, Ice Fangs, Waterfalls, stuff like that. Other than that, that's going to wrap this episode up. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the this episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, and we are still on our journey to 75 subscribers, so help me build the DK Trading YouTube channel, and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, remember to take care of yourself, and take care of each other. Peace.